my hair was a complete fail. <laughs> guys so today is vlogmas day eight and i'm just sitting here getting ready to film my perm rod tutorial i'm gonna go ahead and take it down so i just um did all my face makeup but i just got my heart broken the highlight setting heart of mine just got broken i am literally out of my laura mercier like i was pinching it like i didn't realize i was out i was pinching i was like hitting it like what is wrong and apparently it's out this is the what size did I get I got the 0 0.33 ounce this lasted me a really long time so obviously I have to get the really really big jar now yeah because when I first got it I only got it to try out to see if I actually like it or see if it'll make me like have a white cast but this is perfect for under eye, high, under eye highlighting setting and does that make sense yeah for setting your under eye highlight and I'm officially out of it so I'm sad but I have to I have to obviously I have to get a new one I can't there's nothing else nothing else makes sense because I gave my Ben Nye banana powder away because I didn't like how cakey it made my face look but um yeah I uh I gotta get a new one but I'm gonna go ahead and film this video and I have a couple of errands I need to run today too so I'm gonna hurry up and film this video and catch y'all up in a couple minutes I took down all those rods and my hair was a complete fail you can see that i'm trying to salvage it i put in a little plastic comb these things saved my life in st thomas they're little combs and i put one here and i might put another one in a minute in the back there just i don't know like it's a nice like i was going for a fluffy fro right and it came out like a fluffy fro but there was so much residue like I don't know if I use too much of product but there's a ton of white residue like it's dripping all over my clothes it's all over my makeup like it was flaking everywhere and I'm like this is a fail I cannot upload this so two days of filming wasted so I just took the face that I have on now and filmed a haul so yeah that was not not in the plans for today I really that's really too close to you guys <laughs> I really um I really wanted really wanted this to come out I really wanted a nice perm rod set but you know that's um that's YouTube life sometimes it doesn't it doesn't work out that way there are tons of times where I've done makeup looks that I've trashed because I wasn't proud of them or I didn't think that they were worth putting up and I'm sure a lot of other YouTubers feel the same way about doing things sometimes because a lot of times we film in advance and those things don't ever make it to the upload screen or the upload family but so I'm just going through all my little perm rods and putting them back into their bag like I feel horrible now because I went out and got more perm rods and it didn't come out so I'm gonna have to try again with just um what I was thinking of using which would have been a actual um, mousse. My bad. I'm going to try with a mousse next time and not the cream. I really wanted the cream because the cream was like a cream gel. So I thought it would have been really, really good to try. But nah, didn't work out. There's too much, too much residue. Too much white things floating around in my head. It's not good. And I don't want any of my subbies to try do the same thing that I did and get those results and it's not cute so i would never put up something that i don't like or that didn't work for me or that i completely didn't love so yeah and i'm gonna do that i'm gonna take some product photos from my blog and then i'm gonna wait for my brother to get home and head out so this is the first candle that i'm about to light this one is dashing through the snow and it basically smells like christmas trees i love this so i'm gonna go ahead and transfer it into this holder that I got from last year's um, semi-annual sale, I believe. And they were getting rid of all the Christmas stuff. And the candle I'm taking out is Frosted Cranberry. I think the Frosted Cranberry this year doesn't have all the um, cartoonies. It's just like cranberries with some ice on them. So yeah, I love this year's packaging. But I'm going to place him in there. I just think the snowflake 
holder is so cute. It's so glamorous, like the little diamonds on the snowflake is so pretty. It doesn't like get all, like some of the glitter comes off, but it doesn't totally get all over your hands. I sat down to stock some Sephora before I start editing and I saw this. You guys, my favorite foundation now comes in stick form. OMG. Oh my goodness, color's already selling out. No! That one's gone. Okay. Oh, and they have my color, 500 suede. Okay, I need, I need that. I need that. Like, I need to get that. That looks like it's so yummy. Oh my goodness. What did it say? Uh, 24 hour wear, highly pigmented foundation stick. I already love the liquid, so ooh, it's full coverage. Yes, I need this. Wow. Okay, that is awesome that Lanka finally came up with a stick for that. I'm in CVS right now and they have a ton of new Ardell stuff. I'm going to show you. Ardell is taking on brows now. But I came in to get some double up lashes. I got, I like the 207s, but I picked up the 203s. I think these would be pretty. So, more sticker mail came in, and we're watching Married at First Height. I think this is a new season because there's some new people that are just matching them up. It's on the TV. Nick, are you happy about the show? I'm talking to yourself. Yes, I am talking to myself. I'm Say hi. I'm so scared. Why are you scared? Because I was looking down and all I hear is, <laughs> you just got stickers in. What? what? Are you watching the show? Hell no. Why? I don't like it's married at first sight. Yes. No, it's not. I like it. It's a good show. You always like this regular. I like movies. I, I think like it's it. interesting that you could marry a complete stranger. It's a bunch of dollars. No, it's not. Yes, it is. People have been doing it for years, though. Suppose you marry a complete stranger and find out like a month later that they have like a pooping problem. Uh, what do you? What? What? I have to know beforehand before I get married. What you call a pooping problem? They make poopery for that, they might, sir. They might poop in the middle of the night. How do you, how do you they might like be sleeping and all of a sudden, brrr, you know. Then the, they poop uh, up the bed. You find it out late. No, it's just certain things I gotta know beforehand. Oh my gosh. I gotta live with someone before I know, before, you know, before I know. We Nicholas, might. if I had a pooping problem, no. would you break up with me? No, what I'm saying is you. I use that I use that as a as an example as you have to know someone first to deal with the things that might come with them. You know? No, I don't know. You might you have to know things about people first so you could you could tell yourself, you know what, I'm gonna deal with this and be with this person even with this problem. You don't wanna just get married to some random person you don't know and then find out later that something wrong with them. It's called an arranged marriage. Well, I don't deal with that. You might find out things too late. Like what? Suppose you find out like she can't cook or clean or do anything. What if you're that guy that likes takeout? You can't eat takeout every day. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You can't eat takeout every day. I'm a, I'm I'm not a clean guy. I'm dirty. Suppose I get with another girl who's dirty. Then the two we all live in dirt. No, it can't work that way. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want someone just as nasty as me. Oh my gosh. I have to have someone that's gonna say, you know what, Nick, you need to pick up your socks. You should pick up your socks. Exactly. So imagine you. I can't be with a girl who I don't know. She might just enable me. To, to be my nasty self. I need someone out there who's gonna say, hey Nick, maybe it's time you pick up your socks or you put your plate away or you move your cups and bottles from around your desk or something like that. I can't be with a girl who's gonna allow me to do that. I'm so glad you're pointing out all of the things that you already do. Yeah. So you've, you've, you've admitted to the problem now, will you fix the problem? No, because that's me. I can't fix what I don't think is broken. I mean, it's broken, but it's, 
You know that it's broken, but I don't think it's broken, but I know it's broken. You can't be broken and not fixing those things with the wrong person who doesn't think anything is wrong because the two of y'all are going to be broken and we're going to have thousands of bottles all over the place and one day I'm just going to get up and freak out like, what the hell? What's going on? So I need a girl that's going to go and fix that part of my life that's... But they're your bottles though. I know. I know. That's the sad part about it. But I have to have that girl who's going to do... For example, what do you do every night? You go and you put the, the, the dishes in the dishwasher and my lazy self would leave the plates out every night until they pile up and get out of the way. I'm a procrastinator. So I need a girl who's not a procrastinator and who's going to fix those things that I procrastinate with. So you can't get no range marriage and no I didn't know this person type marriage. I hope so. You have to get to know people. You have to get. You have to they get to know each other in their marriage. Hell no. Suppose you <laughs> found out the wrong. Suppose. <laughs> so, okay, let's say this happens. Let's say this happens. Suppose she was with like 50 dudes. So? <laughs> so? So? That's gonna work. That's gonna mess.